Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, I'll show you how to convert a JPG file into a PDF file in your Android app. So let's begin. So we'll just create a simple uh, uh, format or a template. So JPG to PDF app. You can, you can name it anything, it doesn't matter. So I can just JPG to any, I, I, I don't think I'll need app. JPG to PDF. That's it, and then I click finish, and then I wait for this to my environment to get created. So once my environment gets created, uh, you'll see uh, this kind of screen on your Android Studio. So first, we'll create our uh, layout. We'll try to keep it very simple and straightforward. So before I get into my design view in the text view, I'll change it to relative layout. Yeah, that's what I prefer usually and in terms of layout it will be very simple i don't need a text view i just need a button which will trigger my uh, function or method the name of this text i'll keep it as say for example convert jpg to pdf again you can uh, name anything to this button but uh, it all depends upon your uh, yeah what you want okay so once uh, you have typed now i think i'll go to layout uh, margin and I'll set it so that from a start it comes around 100 TP so it comes in somewhere in middle and from top probably 250 TP yes yeah, so that it comes somewhere in middle yeah so once done that I think more or less our layout is done I will just keep leave it over there because I want to focus mainly on the Java code and that's it so I we can run it and see in parallel uh, the kind of uh, layout which we get in our emulator so in parallel I will also first before getting into Java I will define the permissions which we need in our manifest file so on the right hand side you will see that uh, your app has uh, booted up and the button which we defined right now to convert jpg to pdf has come up and our app name is over here the package name ok so we we'll leave the, that part as it is and we will proceed with our code so in terms of users permission uh, I think we just need one permission that is to write to external storage that's it so that's what we'll define in our manifest file and nothing more is required so now I'll go to the Java code in Java code more or less things are uh, good and we can start from our own create method here so in this own create method we'll make sure that we get the permission of writing to the external storage from our app so this we have to explicitly ask from our uh, from the user of this app so for this you can have this kind of uh, uh, call in your own grid where you call for the request permission in your activity compact and then we can form a kind of string over here on the go and what are the things which we need is the permission to manifest permission for external right external storage of course and after that what we'll need is package manager permission granted yes so once done that probably what we can do is we can sort and sort. if you press over here alt uh, enter it will hint you that you can add the static import and once you click here what happens is if i expand this kind of uh, uh, import is uh, included in your uh, file and it gets like it's it directly accesses the static uh, uh, code of the package yeah so i think in on create method that's all we'll do now we'll proceed to the callback of this uh, button convert jpg to pdf so for that we'll write uh, some kind of public wide uh, no convert button and then inside this view view perfect so once done this uh, we, our, our main implementation will go here but before that i'll just quickly go to my layout and in this button i'll just change it to on click uh, uh, attribute to convert uh, button the method which we have just now written so if you see the color of this method should change from gray to black uh, dark black so that you can know no this is being used so in java in android studio whichever part is not used it will be light uh, uh, black or like it will be gray so this if you hover over here it says unused import import a statement so how you can remove is one is like you can delete it manually or other option is you can just uh, click over here 
and optimize the import so once you click on that it will just make sure that all the other unused imports are deleted from your code okay so in this uh, camera button what are the things we will have to do is first we have to read a file a jpg file in your uh, method over here so to read the file uh, basically what we can do is we should uh, let me see yeah so already i have few files uh, 2.jpg 3.jpg in under my my camera uh, folder of my emulator so just for your information i created a my camera app uh, and i will uh, post a link for that also in my description and above you can refer to that so using that uh, app i have uh, taken the photos using my emulator of course it takes my laptop's uh, webcam to take these photos and saves it into a jpg file format so all these files which you are seeing over here are the result of that particular app over here so i'll, I'll post the link just just if you are interested how to create a jpg file uh, refer to the my camera app uh, video it's a very short and simple video so you refer to that and you'll get to know how how i created all these jpg files okay having said that now i have to uh, uh, take this uh, files in my uh, code here so for that probably what i'll do is first i'll create an environment uh, a kind of uh, public variable or private and then uh, a kind of string and i'll name it as directory so this will hold the main path environment dot get external storage public directory i don't know why it's degraded okay and then i will go for environment and dot directory pictures of course and then i'll just append the path of this my camera so there's nothing but y c a m e r e so please make sure that you type it correctly there is no spelling mistake otherwise it won't be able to uh, refer to the correct path yeah so once done that now in our uh, convert button what we can do is we can have the file name we can create our file uh, name using this directory plus we can use either of the file either 2.jpg or 3.jpg so i think i will use the 2.jpg and that's all now we can uh, do one thing we can read it in a bitmap format so we can have bitmap bitmap equal to bitmap factory dot decode file as in this one we can take and then we have to give the file name as the uh, path i mean the path name so we'll give the file so now this bitmap will nothing will be nothing but it will read whatever the content of this file is in the bitmap format and then we'll use this to write into our pdf so now let's go ahead and create our pdf document so for creating pdf document you can just do pdf document equal to new pdf document and then we can PDF document dot page info my page info equal to new pdf document dot page info i think i'll go for builder yes and then inside this the first is the width height and the page number so here you have to define the dimensions of the page over here you have to be a bit careful you have to define the width and height as per the uh within the height of the of your jpg file i mean if it's uh, smaller than that then it won't work out and there won't be any uh, error also that's that's a uh, uh, very trivial part so and if you're questioning how to get the width and height of your image so it's very simple you just come here do a uh, select the uh, jpg file for which you want to do the conversion and uh, you just go to this get info option here and with the dimensions are here 960 uh, by 1 280 so we'll give that value over here so it's uh, my i think the first one was with so it will be 960 and then comma and then it's the height so that is nothing but 1280 again comma and the third one is a page number so page number i think i'll keep it just one because uh, uh, yeah i don't think it matters so i'll just go for first page number 
and then create yeah so this will create this particular uh, page info which we will use to create our page for the pdf document so now if i come back to my uh, yeah next uh, set of class instructions so it will page and then i'll just create a page over here which will nothing but pdf document the first uh, the document which you have created above and then you have to uh, start the page with the page info will be my page info which we just created above yeah so this is the page that uh, we have created we will have to write the bitmap we have created over here for our file so how to do that is is probably a bit simple we can just have our this uh, page and then we can get the canvas for this and inside the canvas we can draw there has to be an option called drop bitmap and inside bitmap uh, the first argument is the bitmap so we already have our bitmap and the second and third argument is the position from where it will start so we can have 0 comma 0 which is the upper right corner of the of your screen and then uh, the paint which can be probably i think uh, we can have null yeah or you can define your paint which uh, which gives lots of options of course to keep it keep this video simple i'll just uh, keep it null over here so once you have that uh, uh, drawn the your image on this canvas of your page now you can just go ahead and then say you have finished the page and you give your page to finish it up so once done this so now we have to do is you have to save this pdf file into one of the uh, files so first we'll define some file path or stream why this is not coming stream stream oh, okay i'll leave it i'll just uh, i'll just name pdf file okay and in pdf file will again i can probably use the same location directory which is pointing to nothing but uh, this location and over here after this i'll of course I have to give some uh, file name so i'll just say my pdf file dot pdf yeah so don't don't forget the extension but yeah so once done that then we can just go for and create the file with this so my file or i'll say probably my pdf file new file and over here we can give the path as pdf file which we created above and now we can start writing so we can have pdf document dot write to and the file is what to which we have to write is my pdf my pdf file perfect so once done that i think more or less we are done here but i can see there is something related over here so let me see what's the matter so if i it says uh, uh, okay so it says that uh, right to output stream cannot be applied to java file okay so oh yeah yeah of course i missed that out we have to give the uh, output stream so i just do one thing i'll just my file output stream and over here that's it i think but it's still it's red so let me see is something about exceptions so i'll just run it by try catch and that will take care yeah so once done that i think now we can close our pdf document dot close and that's all is what i think our code is done over here so now we can quickly try out so please note here i have a hard coded but if you want in your app you can of course have a variable in your layout which reads a particular file and does it but to keep it simple i have hard coded so i will just uh, uh, restart my app with the changes which we have done till now and let's see what happens so it's asking me to, uh, the access to the location of course do allow otherwise it won't work because it wants it has to fetch and write to that path and if you click here okay so something happened okay we could have made this a bit more fancy by giving some kind of output also here but nevertheless yeah so if you see some file has got created if i double click here perfect so this is the image this is in the pdf format and uh, this is the image file which got converted into the pdf format yeah so i probably i can quickly try once again i can just change it to probably 3.jpg and over here pdf file underscore 3 okay so this will be the 
So I'm now I'm trying to create a PDF file for this particular file 3.jpg. Uh, so I will again do a restart of the app to re get my changes reflected. And if I click here, it, this time it didn't ask for the permissions because once you ask for the permissions inside your phone, it stores the permissions available to any particular app. Okay, so I think something might have happened. If I go back, so this file is created. Oh no, this is the new file, underscore 3. So this is the file in which we gave here. So if I double click and open and see, yeah, see, this is the image. Of course, it's just a one out of one page because we gave the page number as one. But if you want to create multiple pages, there is a, the code will become a bit lengthy. You have to create that for loop or while loop where you write each and every page one by one. But yeah. Okay, so I think I will just uh, end here. So code is very simple. You have to create a first a PDF file and you have to uh, read your uh, image file and create a bitmap and then you have to use this uh, uh, method here where you get the canvas and then draw a bitmap over here. Uh, I will repeat few things here uh, to see how this JPG files you can create of course you can download or get the JPG files from somewhere but if you want to create your own JPG files using your camera you can uh, see my other video on camera which uh, the link for which I have posted in the, my description uh, below and uh, yeah so by that you uh, uh, by that process you will get to know how you can create your own jpg file and you can have your own pictures converted into the pdf file if i try to summarize the uh, this tutorial it's very simple first you have to create your layout i have just given one button but you can have much much more things here you can have the path of the files taken as a variable you can have some kind of output displayed here a success or failure based on the your uh, creation of the pdf file in the android uh, in the manifest file don't forget to uh, define the permissions which you want and then in the java code uh, first ask for the permissions better to ask in the own create method itself because during the start of the app it will ask for uh, that uh, permission and once done that then you have to just write this small function over here i'll post the code in my description folder so that you can also have the access to this uh, code manifest file uh, code i'm not able to uh, post it in the comment section or description section because youtube doesn't allow this uh, angular brackets uh, to be written in its description okay so thanks for watching this video if you have any questions or suggestions or appreciation please put in the comment section and if you like this video then please 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 subscribe to my channel Thanks a lot and have a nice time. Bye.